I want to talk about uh, aliens and uh, predators. Um, just watched um, the, uh, the film Aliens, um, which is the sequel to the film Alien, starring Sigourney Weaver. I'm actually going to watch all the Alien um, movies with Sigourney Weaver in them. Uh, that's a little bit of, of my plan um, dealing with quarantine. And, uh, but anyway, you know, um, I've um, watched the film Predator, uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger classic, uh, many, many times throughout my life. And, um, and of course, if you, um, if you have ever in your life uh, followed um, the franchises of, of Predator and, and Alien, uh, then uh, you would you would have known at some point they came together and they made uh, uh, I think it was a predator versus alien and then they made predators and uh, so, you know I I, <laughs> I I can't remember exactly the titles I think they made a couple predator versus alien or alien versus predator um, movies anyway um, I could be mistaken, but I think the last uh, film was called Predators, and that starred Adrian Brody, and he was ripped. You know, Adrian Brody from The uh, uh, Pianist. Um, I think he won the Oscar Best Actor in a leading role for, uh, for his role in The Pianist, uh, which is a great movie. You should watch that. You should go watch The Pianist, and also watch... Um, all the Sigourney Weaver alien films, as well as uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Predator. Um, that's, that's a good movie. But um, on to what this video is about. It's about um, metaphor. Um, I was watching Aliens and I couldn't help but think, wow. Is the alien representative of the PP? Is the alien a PP? Is is it you know it's because it's you know the, the alien sometimes looks like hands, sometimes sometimes looks like a hand you know in, in certain parts, and then it has this tail part that comes up like and it looks like a pee pee uh and, and you know what a pee pee is it's it's a uh, you know uh, it, it's uh you know uh it, it's the um south pole so to speak it's it's um you know boom or just beep, 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 beep. anyway um it looked like a penis, okay? It, it looked like a, a penis in, in various, um, you know, I'm talking, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking at it through a metaphorical lens, okay? It, does, it doesn't technically look like a penis. Uh, you know, technically speaking, it looks like a weird alien thing, right? But it got me thinking. I had this thought, is Sigourney Weaver fighting penises? And then, of course, in Aliens, she's got that the little girl that um, they find on this, um, you know, it, 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 is it mid-terraformed planet? Um, or, or is it beginning stages of the terraforming? Uh, I think they spent 20 years there, already terraforming this planet. Anyway, but she'd been floating through space for those 20 years. But... <laughs> But Ripley, um, who is Sigourney Weaver's character, she f finds a little girl, and then I, I, it made me think throughout the course of the film that, you know, is this little girl like Ripley's inner child? And 
you know, and, it, and she, you know, of course, Ripley's going to protect the little girl, and, and then, you know, uh, of course, the, um, the, um, uh, robot, uh, in this film, play, uh, because there was a robot character in the, uh, in the original Alien, um, but in this, um, in the sequel, it's played by Lance Henriksen. It's a different robot. It's a different cyborg type thing. Anyway, um, at the end, um, you know, when they think everybody's safe, um, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but like, you know, something happens. But anyway, um, Lance Hen Henriksen's, Lance Henriksen's character, you know, is left oozy and like in a, in a, you know, a puddle of his own cum, right? That's, that's what the, you know, through the metaphorical lens I was looking at, it was like, oh, you know, and, and, and then it made, and then it got me thinking about Alien, which I watched yesterday. Um, which is the first film, and I said putting pieces together was like, oh, this is there was something similar going on with the first film, too, metaphorically speaking, right? Visually, metaphorically speaking. Then that got me thinking about Predator, and how the difference of the alien creatures, right? The aliens and aliens. They are very phallic resembling, whereas the um, the predators, their faces open up and it's like, you know, a vaginal, veg very vaginal looking. Um, well, not very vaginal. You, you, you know, that might be a stretch me saying that, but like it's 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 like the opposite of the phallic looking. Aliens, and then of course they became alien versus predator. Is that man versus woman, or is, is, is it like you know the incubi versus the succubi? Just it made me think of that, and um, yeah, like now I know this is not what is on anybody else's mind when watching films like this, right? Well, maybe, maybe it's on some people's mind. In the world this vast and heavily populated, of course, it has to be, right? But, I don't think, yeah, I think maybe it, it gets overlooked. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Are the aliens dicks? And are uh, the predators the C word? You know? And what does this say about James Cameron? Because he directed Aliens. So, and James Cameron is a pretty hands-on director. So, what is he saying? What is he saying about penises? What is James Cameron saying about penises? You know... Is there a message a coded message to women who watch aliens is the coded message don't trust the cyborg characters the cyborg uh, which tend to be male at least don't trust the robots because the robots they um they're not really so polite. They're not really so kind. They're actually the real uh, predators. But they're not the real predator predators. They're, you know... Is there something going on? Some sort of coded message like that? It's interesting to think about. Anyway. Uh, you know... Yeah, I just wanted to um, make this video about um, aliens and predators and 
see if anybody else, if you've watched the films, if you've caught on to this, if you think about it, you know, what does it mean?